All right, let us head into the lighthouse. So there's going to be quite a bit of stuff to do here in this lighthouse. In fact, we have to go this way in order to see a certain person. Who you might be asking? Well, we'll find out. And uh, let me see. We're going to actually be doing a couple battles, so I want to have the right Pokemon out in front. Let's see, who do I want to have out in front? Uh, Lapras, of course. <laughs> Let's go with Lapras to start off. Hmm, this is no place for playing. But I am playing right here, you just don't know it. <laughs> in fact, you'll never realize it. Gentleman Alfred. He's got a Noctowl. So, he's got a level 20 Noctowl to start off with, while I got a level 23 Lapras. And I immediately put it to sleep. I love it when moves work out the very first time you use it. I mean, but then again, doesn't everyone? <laughs> so this Noctowl probably won't be too difficult, so won't be that much to put it away. Uh, just half its health. So... One more surf should put it away. But then again, we've been under the water, so... <laughs> I wonder how that Noctowl is still hanging in there, despite the fact, you know, birds can't swim. <laughs> oh well. Ah! I can see that you are serious. Ah, but I can be playing and I can be serious. <laughs> Alright, next. Men of the sea are always spoiling for a good fight. So, I guess we'll be having a lot of the men from the Navy to take us on. Sailor Huey. Let's get start off with a Poliwag. Now, granted, I could have switched to maybe Weeping Bell or Nido King, but I want to go ahead and get Lapras to level 24. Good grief. Never realized Poliwag was that fast. <laughs> Alright, Body Slam. Oh! One hit knockout. I will take it. I will happily take that. Level 24 Lapras. Okay, now he's going to send out a Poliwhirl. Let's see. Uh, let us go with... I think I may as well go with Nidoking. This may be a bit risky. But I want to get some good experience for Nidoking. I want it. I want it. Thunder Punch. Almost looks like it hit, you know, that hit dead center. Okay, one hit, one hit knockout. I will take that. 504 experience. Ah, oh, it didn't even level up. Get out of here. Oh well. Oof, I lose! You know, the Navy's not really doing that well, and the, lo the local Navy of Olivine City aren't really doing that much of a good job of taking me down. <laughs> okay. I'll go ahead and switch right back to Neo King to being out in front, so we can get him to level up. Because of course it's another trainer. Why are you here? Are you just going to gawk? I suggest that you leave. <laughs> gawk? You're the one gawking. As a matter of fact, my character has never even said a word. Bird Keeper Theo. Theo? Theo? Eh, uh, I guess Theo. Let's start off with a Pidgey. Level 17 Pidgey. So an easy Thunder Punch will take it down. Yep. 199. Travis Pastrana, anybody? Where's Travis Pastrana when you need him? <laughs> oh well, Nidio King, level 25. He's gonna send out yet another Pidgey. Let's do Quilava this time. Now this one's at level 15. As a matter of fact, uh, this trainer has nothing but Pidgeys. All five of his Pokemon are Pidgeys, and they're at different levels. Ah, that Ember attack didn't even take it down in a single hit. But now, this time it will. <laughs> 175. I want to get Quill level to level up. So like I said, all of his Pokemon are Pidgeys. This time, this one's at level 19. Up a quick attack. 
You're just delay- you're just postponing the inevitable. Alright, now we'll get the Pidgey. Sleep tight. 223, level up, Quilava! Nice! Okay, now, let's get another Pidgey. But let's... Let's go ahead and do Golbat. Let's give Golbat some more... Some more love. This time it's another level 15 Pidgey. Let's give Golbat some more love. Uh, of course I want to start off with Confusion. A dangerous strategy that I have for Golbat. Ah, but it didn't even hit itself. It didn't even... <laughs> that was a critical hit. It didn't even take its own wing and hit itself. Oh, that almost got the Pidgey. Almost. <laughs> Seriously? It didn't even hit itself even once, but that's no biggie. Oh, and it... Use Quick Attack. And of course, that was a turn that ended its confusion. Get out of town. 175, not much for Golbat. Let's go ahead and keep Golbat out. Here's his last Pidgey. Level 15 as well. Ah, I just love Confuse Ray. I love it when I use it. Much better than Supersonic, so I don't need to keep Supersonic anymore. I mean, but then again, I can basically use Confuse Ray on basically any Pokémon I want. Well, Supersonic, I may not have tested Supersonic on a, uh, you know, like a Ghost-type Pokémon, because, of course, Normal-type moves don't affect Ghost uh, Pokémon. I've never used Supersonic, however, since it's a Normal-type move, I suspect it doesn't do anything like all the other Normal-type moves. You really are concerned. I mean, of course. I mean, this lighthouse is here for a reason. So I'm obviously going to, you know, see what's inside. <laughs> okay, this one right here, let's see. Let's switch to Lapras. Because Lapras will have the advantage in this one. I travel the world to train my Pokémon. I wish to battle with you. Well, your wish has been granted. <laughs> kind of like what Calypso with, from Twisted Metal would say. Gentleman Preston. Let's get start off with a Growlithe. Growlithe. Speaking about... I mean, since we're talking about Growlithe, I'm actually going to be getting a new puppy pretty soon. So I can't wait for that. Yep, took down Growlithe. Didn't even break a sweat. And let's see what Preston's got. Another Growlithe. Let's keep Lapras. <laughs> no problem. I really hate to put that, uh, that, that, you know, that Growlithe under the water, but hey. That Growlithe was trying to attack me. <laughs> uh, I must train some more. Yes, you do, sir. You really do need to train more. Okay, this time... I want to put Weeping Bell out in front. Jasmine is this city's gym leader. I mean to bring her back with me. Nobody had better get in my way. Oh, well, excuse me, ma'am. I didn't know you were that desperate. Last Connie. Let's get start off with a Meryl. So, we're up against a Peekaboo. Put it to sleep. Oh, of course I missed. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. Put it to sleep. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, since I was talking about that Growlithe, you know, using Surf on Growlithe, but... I mean, of course it didn't attack me, but then again, the trainer who had it wanted to battle with me, so... But then, in any case, it was going to try and attack me anyway. Even though I really hate to have done that. I mean, but then again... I mean, it's, hey... My Pokémon! 
Calm down. But then again, as like I was about to say, Pokemon don't die. Or as a matter of fact, if I remember correctly, I don't think they do. I mean, they. I mean, besides, that growl with fainted, so it's still. I mean, it's still here. <laughs> now let's see. What do I want to do? Well, yeah. Let's let's keep on going. Let's go and take on this sailor. Jasmine must be worried sick about the Pokémon here. She won't even smile these days. That's very sad. Literally sad. Alright, Sailor Kent. You got a Krabby. Uh, Krabby Patty, Krabby Patty Secret Formula? <laughs> you know, I was about to say, um... Like, take a Krabby and put it, like, on the uh, Krabby Patty from Spongebob. <laughs> that way it'll literally be a Krabby Patty. <laughs> He's got another Krabby. Uh, one more, that is. This one's at level 20. No problem for my Weeping Bell. Got him! Got him! Got him! Level 25. Alright. I can't manage a smile, either. Then, you must have some kind of problem. Oh, I keep pushing that button on accident. Then Oak's telepathic speaking keeps coming back to haunt me. So, let's see here. I want to... Well, let's go ahead and just go over here real quick. Okay, so if we go down here, here's an item in plain sight. TM-34. And what is TM-34, you might ask? Well, let's have a look. TM-34 is Swagger. Causes confusion and raises attack. Never gonna use that. But if we go over here, here's a hidden item. It's a Hyper Potion. And that is the only hidden item inside the Olivine Lighthouse. So let's see, we're gonna have to face off against this trainer. And this one, I'm gonna want to have... Uh... Let's see. You know, let's do Quilava again. I mean, I might just switch back and forth between different Pokémon. We're pretty high up here. My bird Pokémon are in prime form. <laughs> right where the birds like to hang out. At high, at high places. Bird Keeper Dennis. Spiro. The ways I start off with. Matter of fact, I do need to kind of have Kulava catch up with my other Pokémon. Ah, I didn't even get the Spearow either. Come on now. Get him! There we go. 223. Next, he's going to send out a Fero. You know, let's keep Quilava on this one. This will be a pretty big one for Quilava. Now, Fero is... Uh, Spearow's evolved form. So this ought to be a pretty good boost for Kulava. Okay, yeah, I better not do terrible damage. But then again, I would have loved to put this Pokémon in burn state, so it can be weaker. But I don't think it really matters, because I think this Ember attack would take it down. And it does! Awesome! 693, very good! That's very good. He's gonna send out yet another Spearow. You know, let's just keep Quilava out. Let's go ahead and deal with this Spearow with Quilava. Oh, f oh, thank goodness Fury Attack missed. Fury Attack can be, uh... Fury Attack is a, uh, multiple hit move, like Double Slap. So it's a multiple hit attack, so multiple hit attacks can be pretty scary. Oops, they crashed. And burned! <laughs> Since I defeated them with my Quilava. <laughs> Literally, they crashed and burned. Well, they never did catch the burn problem, but... But since I defeated them with my Quilava, which is a Fire-type Pokémon, <laughs> I have every right to say that. But anyway, here's a rare candy. Rare candies are always helpful. So we're gonna have to... Unfortunately, there's nowhere else for us to go, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to drop down. 
So, of course, these holes would be, uh, basically serve as shortcuts to get out of the lighthouse. But if we go over here, we can actually, uh, we actually have to take this hole. And I want to be over here. So, I'll go ahead and switch my Pokémon. Let's see, let us switch to Nidoking. But first, of course, I'll grab this item, which is an Aether. These are always helpful, too. So we can go ahead and fight this trainer. Sailors are both kind and strong. How about you? I can say the same thing. I mean, kind and strong is... You know, me. <laughs> Sailor, Ter Sailor Terrell. So he's got a Poliwhirl. Terrell's got a Poliwhirl. No, not Terrell Davis, the football player. <laughs> okay, Thunder Punch. It really looks like it hits him. It's you know it's hitting him dead on in the in the very center of that. But hey, one hit knockout, 561. I will take that. Gotcha, Terrell. You are both kind and strong. Well, I mean, that's what I said. I said that earlier. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna switch right back to Quilava. Now we take these stairs, and then we'll have to take these stairs. I'll go and grab this item. Which is a super repel. Ah, finally, we get some more repels. So of course I'll take on this trainer. I wanted to battle Jasmine, but she's not up to it now. So, how about you? Well, you walked up to me, and... Uh, I mean, <laughs> there's nothing I can do to get out of it anyway, but then again, I do have to do these. Sailor Ernest. Gonna start off with a Machop. So I think maybe Machop would be pretty risky in terms of, you know, having my Quilava out with close to low health. But I'm. Oh, Karate Chop. That's. Oh my! I should have known. I should have known. That was a bit too risky. I should have anticipated that it was going to... Oh, then I do a critical hit with Body Slam! I should have anticipated that Machop doing a Karate Chop. <laughs> Machop's really living to its name. Doing Karate Chops. But then again, Karate Chop has a high critical hit ratio. So, I should have anticipated that. So we got two critical hits in a row! Well, three, if you include the... Uh, if you include uh, the Machop. Uh, let's keep Lapras out. At least get her to level 25. Uh, I don't need to... It just starts with... It just goes with a bubble attack. Are you serious? You what, mate? Heh, <laughs> literally, mate. <laughs> Since we're dealing with a sailor. Water gun. You what, mate? <laughs> You're not battling very smart there, mate. I Thou's not fighting very smart! Didn't even go up to level 24. Whoa, whoa! You're overwhelming! I sure am. However, how dare you take down my Quilava like that. But now we're on the very top floor of the lighthouse. And here is Jasmine! This Pokémon always kept the sea lit at night. But it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I understand that there is a wonderful pharmacy in Seonwood. But that's across the sea. And I can't leave Amphi unattended. May I ask you to get some medicine for me? Please? But hey, of course! I mean, hey, it's even better that you said please. So, it would be my pleasure. But first, we have to grab this super potion. And we still... we won't be coming back to this uh, lighthouse until another while. So, its breathing is terribly labored. In case you did not know what that what Pokémon that was, that was an Ampharos. If you remember that... oh! Uh, not that Pitnagur. But what I was trying to say, if you remember Flaffy, since we fought a uh, last with a Flaffy, that is Flaffy's evolved form. Chris? It's Gina! Is this a bad time? No, what you got? 
I picked up something nice today. I want you to have it, so I called. You will come for it, won't you? Route 34 is where I am. Click, beep, beep, beep. Well, you know what? I'm kind of thinking of he going to head back to Route 34. Besides, there's actually a new area that we can get into in Route 34. So we'll go ahead and head... No! I did not mean to head back into the lighthouse. I was trying to get back into... You know, head back towards Route 34, but uh, I need to go ahead and heal up my Pokémon. So after we do all this stuff in Route 34... We'll start uh, getting back to the task at hand of getting to that medicine in Sionwood across the sea. Which is of course the next actual destination. <laughs>